Okay, today we're going to answer the question, what causes fibromyalgia pain? Fibromyalgia, as you're well aware, is a complex and poorly understood condition characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain, fatigue, sleep disturbances, and other symptoms. While the exact cause of fibromyalgia remains unknown, for most sufferers, it's believed to be a multifactorial condition with various contributing factors. The way I put it is there are multiple layers of dysfunction. Now, a functional medicine approach to fibromyalgia focuses on identifying and addressing these underlying factors to manage the condition. Now, you might be asking, how do we determine these underlying factors in order to manage my fibromyalgia? There are three things that we use to determine these underlying factors. The first one is an in-depth health history. We look at your genetic history. We consider childhood illnesses. We consider travel outside the United States. We consider your environment. Were you exposed to mold, excessive antibiotic use, uh, heavy metals or environmental toxins? Was there abuse, either as a child or an adult? What kind of trauma have you suffered? The second one is the fibromyalgia assessment form, and that is a list of questions that are grouped in such a way that it gives us insight as to whether your gastrointestinal system is involved or your adrenal glands, your thyroid glands, um, your immune system. The third is the advanced laboratory testing. With this advanced laboratory testing, we're able to determine exactly what's living in your gut. Good bacteria, bad bacteria, pathogenic bacteria, fungal overgrowth, parasitic infestation, leaky gut syndrome, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It's extremely comprehensive. Now remember this, you can't be healthy without a healthy gastrointestinal system. So depending on the history, we may do a comprehensive stool analysis. We may check for heavy metals if, if potentially that's an issue from your symptoms, from the form, from your history. We may look for uh, mold toxicity. Um, we may uh, check you for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And the really nice thing is that these test kits are sent directly to your home where you can provide the sample and send it right back to the laboratory. And those are just a few things that we check for. There are often underlying hidden viral infections. Some people actually have autoimmune conditions that are underlying abnormalities. So we're able to define this and that helps us to create a treatment protocol. But between the metabolic assessment form, the thorough in-depth health history, and our advanced lab testing, we do a very good job at finding the underlying cause of your fibromyalgia and then creating a treatment protocol for spe specifically for each patient. So the lab testing is vital when we're determining the underlying hidden causes of fibromyalgia. Here are some factors commonly considered from a functional medicine perspective. Well, inflammation is always an issue. Chronic inflammation is thought to play a role in fibromyalgia and identifying and addressing sources of inflammation like dietary choices, food sensitivities, and chronic infections may help reduce pain and other symptoms. Gut health, as I mentioned, is extremely vital. The gut-brain connection is increasingly recognized in fibromyalgia and unhealthy gut microbes or intestinal permeability, which is leaky gut syndrome, can contribute to inflammation and may exacerbate symptoms. Addressing gut health through dietary changes, probiotics, and other interventions may be beneficial. Nutrient imbalances or deficiencies can contribute to fibromyalgia symptoms. Nutrient testing and supplementation, if necessary, can be a part of a functional medicine approach to address this aspect. Then there's hormonal imbalances. Hormonal imbalances, particularly in relation to the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, may be involved in fibromyalgia. Balancing hormones through lifestyle changes, stress management, and possibly hormone replacement therapy can help. Then there's toxic exposure. Some individuals with fibromyalgia report symptoms improving when they reduce their exposure to environmental toxins or go through a detox.
program. This may include avoiding exposure to chemicals in food, personal care products, and the environment. Then stress and emotional health. Chronic stress and emotional factors can worsen fibromyalgia symptoms. Techniques such as mindfulness, cognitive behavioral therapy, and stress reduction strategies can be a part of a functional medicine approach. Then physical activity. Exercise and physical activity can help improve pain and fatigue in fibromyalgia. I know that it's very difficult for some that are that are severely stricken with fibromyalgia, but a functional medicine approach may include a personalized exercise plan that takes into account an individual's capabilities and limitations. Then sleep quality. Addressing sleep disturbances and improving sleep hygiene is crucial as poor sleep is a common feature of fibromyalgia. And then genetics. Some research suggests that genetic factors may predispose individuals to fibromyalgia. Understanding an individual's genetic profile can help tailor treatment strategies. To give you an example, I see often the uh, mutation of the Merther gene, uh, which can affect the body's ability to process amino acids, namely homocysteine, which can lead to, to some really adverse health outcomes. Also, people with this gene mutation have a hard time detoxifying. So, medical review. A functional medicine approach may also involve reviewing and potentially reducing or eliminating medications that could contribute to symptoms or interact with other treatments. So it's important to note that the effectiveness of these approaches can vary from person to person, and a comprehensive individualized treatment plan is often necessary. A functional medicine practitioner or a healthcare team that specializes in fibromyalgia can help individuals identify and address their unique contributing factors and design a personalized treatment plan. Additionally, it's essential for individuals with fibromyalgia to work closely with their healthcare provider to ensure their approach is safe and appropriate for their specific situation. I am a functional medicine practitioner. I work with patients throughout the country. If you need help with testing or if you need to talk to someone that has insight into fibromyalgia, feel free to reach out to us. I'll leave the number either in the description or on the screen. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. God bless you. If you are struggling with a chronic condition and would like more information, feel free to visit www.birminghamfunctionalmedicine.com. You are also welcome to set up a phone or Zoom consultation with Dr. Daly at www.talktodrd.com.